Hi there, this is JCGTV. Welcome back to my channel. And for today, we are going to have a new tutorial. And it's all about the Google Drive. So a lot of you are asking me to create a simple tutorial on how to use the Google Drive. Well, actually, the Google Drive is very, very easy to understand and to use. No? Um, before we go with the tutorial, I would like to thank everyone for those who already watched my videos and already subscribed to my channel. Thank you so much for your support and hit the notification bell for more updates and tutorials. Alright, so <clears throat> let's go ahead and define what a Google Drive is. Well, actually, the problem starts with your email. A lot of us are using email to store data. No, by attaching it to to our email and sending it to someone, right? Um, but email can only hold up to twenty five MB file size. No, that's very small. No, that's why Google developed an application that allows you to save more than twenty five MB file size. So meaning that you can store a larger file size file or document you no know, in the Google Drive. So I have actually listed four functions of a Google Drive. One is to store, second one is to share, third one is to synchronize, and fourth one is for security. Let me explain it to you one by one. Alright, so Google Drive allows you to is to store any file. It may be a, an image, it may be a document, a uh, PowerPoint presentation, uh, a movie, a software. No, you can always save that in your Google Drive. Aside from store, you can also download it. No, from your Google Drive. So if you need that file, you just need to download it. Okay, so for for my demonstration, I'm going to create a folder for us to be more organized with our files. Let's create a folder. Okay, so how do we create a folder? Just click on this icon, the new, and then create folder. And then you can rename the folder. Let's rename it example folder. Okay, and then click on create. As you can see, the example folder was added to my drive. Okay, let me open that folder. Okay, and there is no nothing on my folder because I haven't saved any file here. So let's go ahead and save a file. Okay, how do we save files? All you need to do is to look for your file. Oh, for example, this image. So I'm I am just going to drag this. To my drive okay and it will automatically upload since I am connected in the internet so there you have my file okay so another way of uh, adding file here on my folder is to click on new and then file upload okay click on that and then look for your file Okay, let's try to save a file. Okay, let's try to save this. Okay, so as you can see, all my files are uploaded in my folder. If you use Google Document, Google Slide, Google Forms, Google Spreadsheet, and other Google Apps, no? It will automatically sync with your Google Drive. Okay? It will automatically sync on your Google Drive. What do I mean by that? If you make a uh, letter of resignation with your Google Docs, it will automatically sync on your Google Drive. And you can always have an access to download it and to edit it. The next function is to share. Okay, and how do we share a file? Remember always that we can share a document, a whole folder, 
a piece of image, or even a drive. No, but you must always set a permission to the one that you want to collaborate with. For example, I am going to share this folder. Let's go back to my drive. Let's close this. This is my folder, and I'm going to save to share this to a specific person. And how I'm going to do that? All you need to do is to right click on it and then click on that share icon. Okay, the a person with the plus sign that's uh, the share icon. So click on that and then type the type in the the Gmail account of the person that you wish to co to collaborate with. Okay, for example, this one. Okay, and then the permission. You need to set the permission. Okay, so the next thing to do is to set the permission of that person that you wish to collaborate with. Okay, we have two permission. We have the viewer and the editor. If you put this, that account as a viewer you can he or she can only view or you can only see the files inside that folder no but if you put him or her as an editor he or she can reorganize your file erase your file download your files add files on that folder and edit your files Okay, so I hope that's clear. Let's put him as an editor, okay? And don't forget to click on send. And an email notification will be sent to him that this file is being shared with him as an editor, okay? So, that's it, okay? Uh, another way of sharing your file is to get the shareable link, okay? And how do we get a shareable link? All you need to do again is to right-click on your file and look for the shareable link, okay? Get shareable link. So if you click that, Google will automatically create a link for that specific file or folder so all you need to do is to copy the link and set the permission whether he or she will be a viewer or an editor no and then click on done and then send the link to the one that you want to collaborate with so anyone with that link will be able to view or edit your file based on your permission Okay, so that's it. Okay, what about the synchronize? Okay, when we say synchronize, it synchronizes files across all devices. Okay, for example, you have a phone and all of your files are saved on your Google Drive on your phone. But unfortunately, it was stolen. Don't worry because you can always sync that uh, Google Drive to other devices. So you can retrieve all your files. Just make sure that all of your files are saved on that Google Drive. And the last one is security. And this allows you to protect your files from being stolen by other people unless you give your password and your email address a person no don't ever uh, trust other people with your password and your email address because they can always intrude and they can always stole your files let me just uh, recap that's uh the the functions of google drive is that we can store data larger file size with larger file size we can always share our data we can always collaborate with other people 
synchronized across all devices. And lastly, we can always make sure that our files are secured. Again, this is JCGTV. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please click on subscribe and the notification bell for more updates and more tutorials. Have a great day. Bye-bye.